a warm, warm welcome to the Then and Now Media Empire platform. Today, now the 8th of um, July, 2021, me now on a host and presenter, Prince Emil Koma, the account owner, with a very, very special edition of the Then and Now program. It is a special edition in many respects because one, before we set out for all this program with the guests that we will get on the program here tonight, never did we anticipate some things that will go happen. We know say things that can happen which we not expect, but in the world that we live in, um, never fall short of expectations. Because why? If you're a believer, you know say some things that can happen with it beyond you. And such is one of the case. So in as much as we plan out for come out here today, and can talk to Fambu Lem on a case of national prominence with the development of the country. At the same time, something happening in our community. And as a community, we get for continue for hold ourselves despite with different affiliation, politically, religiously, and otherwise. It is in this regard, ladies and gentlemen, that I want to move away slightly. Um, I want to move away slightly from topic tonight. We will come back to topic tonight. But for flow away from the topic in the sense that um, we hear bad news today, you know, we lost a brother and a friend to some people, a comrade to some people, a member in arm. But the idea here is we've lost a Sierra Leonean today, a huge Sierra Leonean we don't make impact in this community, both at home and abroad, where we live and where we come from. And this news, it kind of shock very many of us um, today. I can say that. It shock very many of us um, today. And when we read this news, so shock were some of us that programs today, honestly, were canceled, canceled, postponed. That's how big the guy who passed away today um, now was. So this guy, as soon as I can see in picture, I need to give way as a mark of respect. Um, it's none other but um, um, Mr. Abes Shek um, Kamara, commonly known as Abes. He get a few other names them. I call him Abes. He never made it to this particular platform, but was always in the background advising, even at odd hours of the uh, uh, um, morning or night, whichever um, hour is odd for you. He was always there. He promised so many times, and there were so many times that I was committed to come so we can discuss issues of national prominence. But then in the end, he never did turn up, but will always be advising because he was always a man on the go, planning, formulating, and with his country in his mind, despite his party affiliation. Today, I want to use this opportunity on behalf of this platform, our thousands of viewers, and followers, sympathizers around the world to extend our deepest and profound condolences to the family of this late man, his friends, his children, generally his family. May the soul of the brother rest in peace. Brother Abes, wherever you are today, what I do believe in is the body perishes, but the soul lives on. This is a process, it's inevitable. It will happen to every one of us. For behold, all of us who live or every living thing shall perish until we see again so in that beautiful shore. Rest in peace, brother. Um, we got a man I we know him very, very well. And we go be on the floor for let it be a, a glowing, flowing tribute. Mr. Ojuku to my colleague, the floor is yours, sir. Mr. Macaulay? I yes. Think yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're right. yeah, yeah, you are. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Prince. Um, honestly, uh, there is so much one can say today, uh, but I think um, the shock of um, Abes's death um, and uh, the permanency of the death is the source of the, uh, the pain, the permanency. You know that uh, uh, Abes is is no more. You know, uh, so I don't want to. Uh, I am of the belief that I praise somebody, which I did on so many occasions, when you are alive, not when is 
is passed on. You know, um, those who were privileged and in fact had the opportunity to meet him and know him, know that he, 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 he was a great guy, even at such a young age. Um, and the, 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 the sad thing is that to, to, have, to have him, you know, to somebody like that, the love to be snatched from you, especially unexpectedly, you know, and then to be told to, uh, <laughs> to remember the memories, you know, it, 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 it is, um, it is a, it's, it's a difficulty, as I tell you, even before the program started that I wasn't ready to come on board. But then, um, you know, I'm sure he's the type of man who will say, no, big brother, as he usually calls me, uh, called me, uh, no, go ahead and do your thing. So um, we will wait when on the platform to do the tribute and the program towards contribute for, then we'll go do a, a, a really true tribute to, to our best because really the shock is still there, you know, that um, our best is no more. But um, I, I, I first met him not too long ago, 2016 in Freetown. He was introduced to me uh, in 2016, but within that short period of time, you know, I came to know him and um, constantly, in fact, there was a time when, <laughs> I remember very well, 2019, he had a case in, um, in um, Mer a court in Maribyrn Road. And boy, he was so desperate to see me, to talk to me about some issues. He asked me to come to the court and wait for him. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, you know, and, and, and I said, I bet, I bet it's, a, it's, a, it's a big brother. I have only two matches. I'll be done by 12. Please just give them my name and come in and wait for me. I caught so, 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 so. And I was like, wow. And I was obliged to do that. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, but when the right time comes for pay tribute, um, we'll go do that. But, um, this is a big loss to the family, to the friends, to those who were hemming and wishing to know him, and indeed to say hello, because you know, like we 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 in our sixties with the approach so, and mm -hmm. we, were, we, we were passing the baton over to the likes of our best. Yes, you know, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> one or two year time I'll be sixty. I mean, there's no, you cannot, you cannot lie about that, you know. And the Abes were the type of people we are kind of looking forward to, you know, to taking over. Yeah. And it's no more. That is it. Like I said earlier on, the permanency of death is what is the pain. Yeah. And and you, you you cannot you cannot you cannot pay tribute to that. You cannot pay tribute to that. Yeah. May soul may soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. But unfortunately, I'm sure you will have had some interaction. You will have known the brother. But the floor is yours in terms of tribute. Well, um, um, I want to thank you, uh, Brother Prince, for the opportunity to say a few words about the sad passing of a brother. Um, you would be surprised how I came about learning about this sad event. Um, I belong to the Sierra Leone People's Party. And um, in our UK I forum here, that was where I learned about this sad party. And the way it was reported there, it was like he's one of us. Yeah. It really felt like he's one of us. We are all grieving as I speak to you. I mean, this says a lot about us as Sierra Leoneans. I mean, we have our bitter indifferences, but really when it comes to us as a people, we are caring, we are loving, we care about one another. So when I saw the tributes flowing through our forum today, I was really saddened to a point that I said to myself, really, I mean, Abes is a big name, like Brother Macaulay has just said. These are the people all of us expect to be at the center of things in our country. Because he's a man 
Who cares about Sierra Leone? He's a man whose name is even bigger than himself. That is the sort of reputation he managed to build, you understand? Um, it's really difficult to come to, to come to terms with the fact that he's no more. And I want to join all of us here to express my most profound sympathies to the APC, to his family and his friends. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. You're welcome. Um, let's go to um, Mr. Mohammed um, Lamin. I'm sure there's a word or two from Mr. Lamin as well. Not sure whether you know him, but as no. a community in a community, I'm sure death unites us all. The floor is yours, brother. Yeah, actually, I don't know Abis. Um, I was fortunate to go to social media today and saw a whole lot of pictures about Abis, Abis. And what drew my attention more was when I saw the First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone, um, Fatima Bio, posted it, something like a tribute, expressing how she felt about the death of Abis. Um, I think um, he was a very nice person somebody who loved his political party so much, somebody who loved Sierra Leone so much, you can see that the first lady expressed that uh, this is somebody that we are very close, but there was never a time she was going to tell Abes that Abes, you need to come to the Sierra Leone People's Party because Abes would definitely say no. <laughs> the kind of person, he's very loyal. So, um, I just want to extend my sincere condolences to the family of Abes, um, to the APC, All People's Congress political party, and to every other person that knows Abes. May Allah grant him eternal rest. Amen. 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 Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, um, in death there is um, unity. So I just hear this about the first lady and I must use the opportunity for commend the first lady. So there are things that can unite us all despite we kind of have major differences. And I like the way Abi put up that she could never convince Abes to leave from where he was because in commitment on that side, it was rock solid. This is why one final time, I want to say my deepest condolences to the party, the All People's Congress, because they've lost a heavyweight, they've lost commitment, they've lost one pillar of them. How they will find that replacement day is up to them, but may the soul of the brother rest in peace. And like uh -huh. the rest of Una say, the idea that he is no more. And I like that coinage day, Ujikutu, that he is no more. That is critical. You know, you have to always do the talk. You will never see him again. You will never hear him again. Everything else is just, you know, yeah, like virtual or made up, not in reality, in its origin. Yeah. Okay. We need for more, we need for move on anyway, because it is really um, let the dead lie in peace. The living will continue to struggle, hence why we are here today, the four of us. Ladies and gentlemen, just for giving a pin up on the story here for tonight, and Oju Kutunaga for last with us, because he, you can see that he's um, shaken, um, and um, he will leave us um, subsequently early. But here is the thing here for tonight. Um, despite the tra uh, tragedies, life um, goes on. So in this regard, we decide for talk about um, an issue, because this is what we do in the press, social media, mainstream media, MSM and MS. This is what we do. We talk about issues. We get the design for change with country for the greater good, bringing critical minds together so that we go talk then talk there. For quite a while now, there's been a story that has refused to go away. And this story is none other than a story between apparently two friends, not sure whether they were friends. Luckily, we get people there, we get for help, we for understand this context here today. If you now look at my background, when I go see two pictures, one was a former head of state. The one other one is a current head of state. One has been a head of state twice. And most of us, if not all of us, know the story. But this story, for some reason, go away. And it refused to go away. Like I said, I want to provide a pinup. Um, about 25, 26 years ago, um, a coup take place in a salon. And that usher in one of the youngest um, African leaders ever, now the entire continent, if not the world, in person of um, um, Captain Valentine Strasser. Four years on, we saw those ugly pictures that emerge of a head of state. You know, we can come for fear, revere, if you will like, respect we, we leaders. But a picture emerge of this young man 
disheveled, um, almost roughly dressed because there's been a tussle, we can definitely say that. Handcuffed, the head of state of a country, handcuffed. A nation, unbelievably confused, not knowing exactly what had happened there. But yes, there had been a palace coup. What was to filter out gradually and begin for sync that there had been a palace coup. And this once young head of state had been removed from power by his own inner circle, which they refer to as a palace coup. Handcuffed, bundled into a helicopter over the Atlantic Ocean onto a neighboring African country called Guinea. And there were reports that he wanted to be killed. He was supposed to be killed. However, those are speculations. But the people who knows the story, because the idea is he survived. And I know we'll go too much, but we know, say, on this panel here tonight, at the time, was a relevant journalist who privy to many, many of the things they want to talk about, where, by my own account, of course, now read, I read, and do a research, but physically, there were people who were there, there were people who spoke to the actors then, and know their story there, because they are corroborated by facts we exist, then and now. Mr. Um, Ojukutu Makoli, I'm talking about none other but you. You were there then, you are here now. Give me the picture, please. Well, <laughs> thanks again for uh, inviting me here. Um, what happened um, January 1996 um, was not something that was kind of planned, say, four, five, six, seven months before. It was something that developed within weeks when uh, there was this debate about peace before elections, elections before peace, and also whether the NPRC should be transformed into a political party um, and with um, something similar to the Ghana Jerry Rollins pattern or the Yara Jame uh, pattern in the Gambia. But um, what happened back in Sierra Leone and still continue to happen in Sierra Leone is that um, rather unfortunately, we continue to have, as was the case then, uh, people who get into the political arena in Sierra Leone who at the end of the day do not have the best interests of Sierra Leone at heart. That is a situation that has been going on, I would say, just after independence and up till now, unfortunately, because um, there was an issue that, uh, as you rightly said, only the immediate actors, i.e., um, I would leave um, stress out of it this time, um, um, then Brigadier General Madabio, uh, the likes of um, Stra uh, the likes of uh, Glover, the likes of um, Charles Bayo, the likes of Karifa Kadbo, and, and others who were part of the Supreme Military Council. And um, on that particular day, um, I, I don't want to go into the what built up to the coup of itself, yeah, because that yeah. was labor yeah. But on, on that particular, before a week before a week before the the the, the actual coup, um, January 1996. There was, a, there was a heated debate within the Supreme Council as to whether Strasser, because he not being reached the age for being a presidential candidate, there was a dispute within whether Strasser should head the, the, MP, the PMDC, I think it was, I forgot the name of the party now, we... John Karimo party. John, John Karimo party. Uh, John Karimo and uh, uh, In fact, what I know for a fact is that... Um, uh, Charles Magai, who was also part of the, that particular political party, was called by Strasser to advise, uh, uh, to talk about whether Strasser qualified as a presidential candidate. And Charles Magai categorically told Strasser that because of the constitutional requirement, Strasser was not qualified to be a presidential candidate because the constitution called for 40. And I think Strasser wasn't even 40. No, nothing. Strasser was not even 40 yet. So that started developing into a situation where Strasser in, in immediate family, I in papa and brother uh, uh, and other friends, were pressing Strasser to kind of go against that constitution and emerge and impose himself as leader of the, P, the PMDC, it was called. And then you had another camp within the Madabio camp who were then saying, well, if this is going to happen, the only alternative 
was to remove stressor from power. And cut a, cut a, cut a long story short, there was a Benguima uh, 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 incident. There was a Benguima passing out on that particular day. Um, Strasser was on the road. Marabio was on uh, 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 on the Chopa or whatever it is that it was called. And um, <laughs> uh, we were down at Sierra Leone News Agency, Slena, uh, where you have city council now next to what is now the SLPP head office. Uh, 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 and uh, that, was on, that was on a Tuesday, I think it was, if I remember correctly. Um, after the Benguima, we were all come up Benguima, we were kind of rushing back uh, uh, for fire stories. And then uh, we, by 12, 1 o'clock that afternoon, bam, we had, um, there's a change of government, there's a change of leadership. Um, Strasa was on his way to um, Konakri, uh, Lansana Conte. Uh, I was going to take take him, and uh, Madabio is now the chairman of the uh, Supreme Council. And um, I, I was privileged to a lot of the information because Madabio, a public relations man, a press officer, late now, Donald Fox, was a close body of mine, and um, he even went on to serve um, um, Joe Demby after when President Kaba became president. And um, and um, because Dodemi was vice president, so he never moved from the vice president. Because but when Madame Bio became chairman, Madame moved with him to state house. And you see, the whole thing as he put uh, atonement, uh, 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 um, for uh, yeah, Oju 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 Kutu, Aguale, you hold you, Aguale, you hold your thoughts right there because you don't okay. develop the story, but that's exactly where we are going. Okay. I just want to talk to the other two panelists. Yeah, um, before you beat gone from that week. <laughs> yeah. This is not the problem where you get veteran journalists. Then they say before like a, a, a man. Yes, yes. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who may not know him, of course, sorry about this because he's a household name. Long before Umaru Fofana was this man who's just spoken. Um, now I'll go to you, Dr. Fofi. Of course, uh, get reasons for believe that you're a social uh, scientist, you're a doctor, and um, yeah, absolutely. I've heard you spoken once or twice. Yeah. So I just want to go back with you again to with, with, with this because yourselves also as a Sierra Leonean get you view about this story. Yeah. Even though it's on a different level now, but it started from somewhere, the origin where Winston don't deal with. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, um, Dr. Fofi, for which I just take from Winston. Yeah. Despite all the demonization of Marabio, it seems like there was a cause that led to the overthrow and there is some kind of level of um, genuity, if you like. I know not everybody will agree with that, but if the president, if we take what Winston said, at the time not be fit the bill for eventually become an head of state, where even a plan for do again, then if people have begin pressure and say, you need to do something about this, there's somebody be need for act. And it seemed like Mother Bill acted. I don't know in which faith, but he did act. It. Give me your own um, overview, please. Well, um, thank you so much, uh, Brother Prince. Um, well, I would, I would like to start by first introducing myself because I don't seem to have the privilege of being a household <laughs> name as my elder brother, Mr. Macaulay. When I, when I left for make with young panelists, we will get the youngest panelists with two years. Yes, so um, I, I, I am Dr. Sheku Fufana. I'm a senior lecturer and head of research degrees program at the London School of Commerce, Cardiff Metropolitan University in the UK. Quite impressive, sir. Uh, also, uh, do undertake um, visiting professorial duties with the at the Yesenev University in Kazakhstan. I'm also a visiting senior lecturer at Batspa University in the UK. I hold a, a, a PhD in public sector management and I'm a specialist in decentralization and devolution. Which is coming up soon by the way. Yes, we're, yes I think we are going to organize something like that. Um, so with that brief introduction of myself, uh, I want to say many thanks to you, uh, Prince, for giving this platform for able to shed light into such a very important matter. 
And I like the way you introduce the, the topics with the view, say, you hope, say, conversations like this go put this matter to rest. Well, I am here to talk about this very interesting matter as an academic, and I'm sure my brother and a journalist, so I mean, we will, I'm sure we will learn something from INSEF today. Uh, but um, I think the reason we really make me interested in this topic is the fact that in 1992, when the coup we bring in the two Mandia into public arena was a point where Miwe Sidonasu was so disillusioned with the political dispensation in Sierra Leone at the time that uh, we saw these two great men, I would still call them as saviors of our country. Mm -hmm. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of things happen. But um, I would just like for, it, it seems there is some some disproportionate demonization of Mother Bill. And people forget that the history of the NPRC then not start with the ousting of Strasser. I mean, Brother Macaulay will agree with me, and Strasser was deputized by a man called Captain Saj Musa. I mean, the question why they asked, Strasser was head of state. Why Strasser's head of state got rid of a friend, a colleague, and the person of Saj Musa, kicked him out of the country, sent him to exile, but it's never an issue. President Bill, as we all know, for reasons, where I will highlight as we go on. Take the initiative, well, with popular support within the ranks of the military, forget read of Sajibun, of, 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 of uh, Strasser. And I would like for now we make this point very clear. And this, I believe, forgive the true face of who President Bill is. Strasser, in a public state interview in Sierra Leone, clearly from the horse's mouth, said to the nation, the circumstances will lead to the palace to in, in ousting. And for me, I just recap that. It clearly tell me in that interview, I'm sure it was a, a widely viewed interview where Nabin Star TV be run that interview day and this interview was done days to the run of elect run of uh, uh, elections this question came about the circumstances will lead to a e in overthrow and he said this he said this is something that is difficult to understand because most people are not in the military or don't have military experience. He said in the military, when we sign up to serve the country, we do it on two terms. You get short-term service and you get long-term service. And technically at the point Strasser was taken out, he was never supposed to be a military man, let alone a military leader. On that note, well, we're not going to use the term legitimacy here, but I would think in military terms, it was legitimate for men to get rid of her. And, and, and to be honest, I think, say, the whole nation foresee one thing very good in President Bill, because as Strasser said, Sef, Sef say, he could have been killed on that day. But he wasn't, he was saved. He was safely taken out of the country to Guinea, okay. unharmed, yeah? Okay. Okay, um, doctor, uh, this, is, this is quite interesting. I wish we were on this topic here for tonight because you raised many technical issues to which um, many um, questions could be developed. Like for example, 
um, it was legitimate for him to have been removed. But what about the process itself that, for, that was used for him to be removed? Was, this le was it legitimate or could it be accommodated? And if that could be accommodated, that would be implicit of his illegitimacy according to you being a ground, you know, yeah, for him to have been there, providing excuse, mitigating the, fact, the factors as to why he still would have existed even though he signed up to two things. And those two things apparently will have expired by the time he was overthrown. But many questions and good narrative. Let's go to the third man. Um, the third man is, um, we guess here tonight, now, a young man, obviously. Um, he's a researcher and a politician as well. But again, the owners for letting himself introduce himself, let family and come for understand them. This is the very first time, just like Dr. Fofi, on this platform. And I'm sure this is not going to be the last. Mr. Lamin, please. Uh, thank you very much, um, Mina Mohamed Lamin, uh, final year student, LLB, Honos. Um, actually, the come as a activist here from Constance Reunions in UK really? as the uh, PRO. And um, Constance Reunions is actually an organization of residents in UK. Um, this organization actually, they in the capacity, believe in um, fighting for human rights issues. And now we are talking about Strasser and um, President Julius Mother Bill. If we go back to 1992 or before that, we had the APC of um, President Momo. And um, it was like it was like a one-party system. These young people, Strasser, Madabio, Saj Musa, they thought it fit like look, the way the country is going, it's not in the right direction. We need to come in and save our country. And this was one thing that Strasser mentioned in the interview with uh, Mr. Ba, one of the journalists that was working for CTN by then in 2010. That was a second Saturday in August, 2010, when um, he had an interview with Strasser and he was like, did you regret overthrowing the APC? And Strasser was very explicit about it that, no, this was what the country needed by then and I did the right thing to save the country. Yeah. They, they took over in 92 and the plan was to rule for four years. After four years in 1996, Strasser wanted to change the constitution and be the president just like Yaya Jame. And then other people were like, no, within the council, we are like, no, this is not the agreement. Because Strasser knew that he's not up to 30. And even if he joined a political party, he's not, he's not allowed. Constitution does not allow him to. And um, if you check people closer to Strasser will tell you that Strasser was not too mentally fit by then. There are certain instances. He was taking drugs by then. There was a time as a military leader, he attended the UN summit and in a military uniform, he was smoking right there. So these are some of the things. And some people even believed from research in Soviet, that Strasser was just there as the head of state, but Julius Madabio as the second in command was acting, was taking some most decisions. And then going on, President Bio was like, it's four years and um, you don't want to handle the power. And this was not the plan. So the plan was to get Strasser off as head of state, and then somebody else can come in and then usher in the real plan that the NPRC had to rule for certain amounts of years and then bring in a civilian government. In 1996, we saw exactly that. Saj Musa, who was the second man by then, was sent to UK. And then automatically, first Julius Madabio became the second man. As narrated, they went to a meeting at Cochrane 
And then it was well calculated plan by your um, mother bill and others, because they knew the way things were going, if they allowed Strasser to continue to be the head of state, things will become worse. So at Cochrane, well planned, because as Rasta stated earlier, they are not allowed to take in weapons when they go for their meeting. But as you can see from the narration, Julius Madabio had his weapon, meaning they had already planned it very well. Fine, fair enough, they went in there and then Strasser was told that he has to leave peacefully. And then he was escorted to the uh, military helicopter and then he flew to Guinea. What I wanna state here is um, Mother Bill doing this was the right thing because today we actually saw or we can actually see what is going on in Sierra Leone. Mother Bill came in three months, had an election, in a democratic um, leader, Alhaji Ahmed Yankaba. And then since then, Sierra Leone has been having democratically elected president up to okay. now. Okay, Mr. Mr. Lamin, many, many thanks for that. It seems like the panel here is two, is two one, but I like the kind of critical thinking. And I know Mr. Jukutu would like to push back on some of these things because some are speculations, some are based on um, studies, according to you, being conducted. Some will be based on the circumstances as well, because the circumstances was fluid. It changed along the way. Like you're saying, you know, uh, you could attribute like um, the father of democracy to Joseph Mohu ushered in a multi-party, even though his, his government was corrupt and rotten to the court and led to the civil strife. But um, again, you have to give accolades where accolades belong. And um, Ojukutu, I know you like to push back, but we really don't have the time for that, sir. We can hold an entire program on this because even as I'm listening to you guys, it's a learning process for me. I'm hearing things that I've never heard before. And I am trying to question now, but I will, I will, you know, yeah, caution myself, you know, and just try to pursue the line of interview that I want to conduct here tonight. And we've already developed the premise. So I want to move on. The bottom line here is, and Mr. Lamin made quite a critical point that I will touch on shortly. The bottom line here is Captain Strasser was eventually overthrown. We've all agreed on that. On which basis? Some say on this basis, others say on that basis. But that would have had an impact on his intellect, on his psychology, on his mindset. What happened to him? He assumed office as a very young man, four years of being pampered, if I can use that terminology, and then suddenly had to lose that, lost face, lost friends, lost quality of life, and et cetera. Definitely that had an impact on his mental being. Now, a portion in blame, we, we're, not, we're not trading blame games here, but if I were to do this to you, Dr. Fofi, yeah. Yeah, you will, I will be somehow responsible, culpable for what befalls you as a consequence of my action. My question I want to ask Mr. Macaulay is, by the consequence or as a consequence of the action taken by Mother Bio on that fateful day along with his colleagues, that will have affected the mindset of Captain Strasser and 25 years on, we are still seeing that kind of mindset still playing up Hence, where you wanted to go, where I'm leading you, in terms of the questions that we ask. Atonement? Is it time, you know, here for absolution? Uh, absolution is critically used in this sense because the president is known to be a Catholic. Is he trying to recompense, you know, your 25 years on? What say you, Mr. Macaulay? But you see, you see, can you hear me? We yes, sir, you're loud and clear, sir. You see, you see, the whole narrative about the end of um, Captain Valentin Strasser as chairman of uh, uh, NPA, chairman and head of state of the NPRC, and on to uh, his time overseas and the embarrassment he faced at uh, university, and then back return to return to Sierra Leone via Gambia, via Gambia, and the total abandonment of. Valentine Strasser by the state of Sierra Leone, not just... Not absolutely, just absolutely. Thank you for by, that. I forget to mention that. Yes. By the abandonment of uh, Valentine Strasser by the state of Sierra Leone. 
yes, seriously affected his mental well-being. But we, we, we have to remember, like I said earlier on when we started, I say the, 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 the architect of what we call Sierra Leone. Uh, um, not too long ago, there was uh, a social media clip of the late uh, Joxie Smith uh, making a statement as to why they conducted that coup back then. And, and it is now worse than that time when Joxie Smith organized that coup then. And it is because of those same reasons, and they reason they were still there, make Strasser, as a former military head of state, was abandoned by the state of Sierra Leone, right? And Sierra Leoneans were divided, even as we speak today, yeah. where, whether it is right to look after Strasser or not, you know? And there are several other factors that came into play. We make today the whole idea of atonement, uh, you compensate, you compensate, about absolution and all that. To me, it, it's just it's just uh, 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 playing with words because St Strasser, as he is, is a damaged goods, yeah. you know, with the greatest respect to him. And, and, and we have to remember that uh, uh, the treatment he went to in the Gambia has nothing to do with kind of dealing with his mental states of mind. Yeah, but, but Mr. Macaulay, hang on right there, sir. I just want to get something right before you move forward. Mm -hmm. um, we will agree that um, his mental state, there, there's an imbalance there. Mm -hmm. And um, we probably are not paying attention. And I'm sure you're going to Gambia where mm -hmm. he will have apparently been treated. But Ghana, not for Ghana, what he's Ghana. suffering. Mm -hmm. Ghana, okay. Mm -hmm. Not for what he's suffering from. But the idea is he's now been looked, he's not been looked after, you know, even though the state abandoned him, heads of state before um, Malabio, he's now been looked after. Mm. Well, the looking after started with some credit to former Vice President Victor Four. You know, former Vice President Victor Four, uh, 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 although it wasn't as as it is, as you want to say now that it has been given a house. I don't want to get into the politics of the house because we are going to the house. By the way, let me just let you know so you can be one back. <laughs> no, I don't. Want, I don't. Want, okay, I will leave the house issue first. But yeah. uh, 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 the fact of the matter is that uh, um, the previous government, the the, the Tijan Kaba government. And, and and for a certain period of time, even the Anescoma APC government as well, did not render what should have been rendered to Strasser unless until Strasser was perceived as some kind of a political ball yeah. in, in the elections, you understand? Yeah. Uh, uh, and so for me, I, I, I don't even know, I don't even know what is all, the, what's the force is all about with regards to, like you said, the house. And my, this man is an abandoned, was abandoned basically by the state of Sierra Leone. And, 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 and by that, we are all guilty of this. This is not something I would personally say uh, for begin ask whether uh, President Marabio is forgiven or whether uh, it's a compensation or whether it's an absolution by President Bill. The states and people of Sierra Leone abandoned Strasser. Yeah, but, 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 but that, that is true. And I take this to Dr. Fofi. I mean, waiting, um, Mr. Um, Macaulay is saying, is quite true. Um, but we can't hold on to we grievances. At some point, we have to let go. So, yes. Presidents upon presidents, state upon state, I mean, the one that will eventually take power, they not look after a former head of state. And that was completely wrong in many respects. I remember one time or more than once passing around um, um, the cutting tree, you know, Southern can normally exhibit the former leaders in their pictures. And there was this big gap and there was no strasser. So you could understand the political sentiment then even though you're not part and parcel of the inside core, that a former head of state, a man who served, and when he served, he was recognized, by the way, because even oh, though yes. some people go one label him as illegitimate, the idea that the international community, there were embassies, he did business, he signed contracts in the name of the government of Sierra Leone, made him a legitimate head of state for four years, then he just they frowned on coups. But by then, coup was a fancy thing, because we government did not do well, 
They were kicked out. Eventually, Amiman just shows the inner Amiman. But Dr. Fofi, here's the thing. We cannot continue to hold on to grudge. Yes, we abandon the former head of state up to a stage where the man, you see poverty, which was so shameful for some of us. You know, look with former head of state. Where is the national pride? But that was then. This is now. And somebody is trying to make up. We'll talk about the way they are making up, what is behind it. But every one of them try to exploit Captain Strasser. But I think even though it be mentally imbalanced, but every time he went on TV, if we watch him and listen to him well, when they try for use him, it didn't work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Um, uh, thank you, Brother Prince. Um, you see, the problem we have in Sierra Leone is disservice to ourselves. And I like very much uh, the intro uh, Mohammed Lamin gave. And if I'm to deduce what he said from that, it's simply to say, Madabio is the, found, is the father of the Sierra Leonean democracy, period. I mean, the question I want to say, the magnanimity Madabio has demonstrated by looking after stress. Should we as a nation be celebrating him or asking questions as to say he's doing this for cheap political gain? What should we be saying? I mean, I agree with uh, Mr. Macaulay saying the country failed Strasser. And I like to qualify this. I wouldn't want to hide. I mean, we have to, we live in a democracy. Credit to President Madabio as a young man then who selflessly decided nation above personal interest. I mean, Strasser, there's so much to say about the young man. I feel very sad when I think about him, but I don't think what happened to him was because of his age. Mohamed Lamin said something that I would not have loved to say. I mean, the guy from the one did not have a focus. From the one, the guy, everyone in Sierra Leone knew that he was never without the influence of some kind of substance. I mean, what befell Strasser was really, in my view, sad to say, he's making. And if you, I mean, let me say this, Strasser did not make mad of you. No, this was an organized coup by six gallant soldiers. I mean, these are their names. Brigadier General Julius Madabio. He wasn't Brigadier there. Captain Valentine Strasser. Lieutenant Sa Sandy. Lieutenant Solomon Musa. Lieutenant Tom Yuma. And Captain Komba Monde. These were the six people that organized the ousting of the notorious APC, which was a blessing to Sierra Leone. And even J.S. Momo of blessed memory accepted that. And I have a lot of respect for J.S. Momo. To me, he's far better than Anes by Kuruma because he came to the nation and apologized, saying, I am sorry, I failed the nation. Can I, can I, can I, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on, no, 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 Thank Dr. You. Fofi, continue, please. So these were the six guys that organized the ousting of the then APC. Yeah? Yeah. So how can anyone say Strasser did favor to President Julius Madabio? 
they were when, when you say when you say how can anyone say yes. Trasser did favor to Julius Madabio? In which context you're speaking? I mean, the context is. I mean, yeah. if we look at the use of words here, guilt, atonement, recompense, absolution, or and uh, or absolution. So this says. Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, this, the, this, the, this the context. These were I mean, my words. Okay, yes, I get you. I get yes, you now. Now, out yes, of that context, exactly. so, so out of that context, words. out yes. of that context, we can see that um, Mother Bio, either by the way this program is entitled, or based on what is the narrative in Sierra Leone at some quarters, not entire Sierra Leone, the view is Mother Bio did wrong to Strasser. In okay. my personal view, in my personal view, what Mother Bio did, and let me support that Mother Bio's action by, by this, uh, 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 by a, a statement that, um, that follows that school. To show the popularity of the palace school, it was backed by many high ranking NPRC soldiers, including Colonel Tom Yuma. Lieutenant Colonel Komba Monde, Lieutenant Colonel Reginald Glover. Who were these Lieutenant people? Who were, who, were these, who were these people? Uh, who were these people in terms of um, the coup, in terms of support, and which side? Who were they? But on which people, basis were they supporting the coup? Was it people, on principle? Was it on principle, Dr. Fofi? On principle, yes. No, yeah. This is just to justify, this is just to justify that we as a nation should be thanking or should be okay okay, okay dr fofi dr fofi i want to give the plot to no, no, let me just land let me just i just want to land i just want to land before i give the floor to mr macaulay so this is just to say this high ranking military officers backing the ouster of uh, of 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 strasser gives a clear indication of the justification of that palace school based okay, Dr. on Fofi, national okay, Dr. Fofi, Dr. Fofi, I beg to disagree with that last uh, narrative of yours because these people were biased. Th those high-ranking officers, quote-unquote, were biased. They had a side. And now that we get the benefit of hindsight, we do know this because the record does exist. Okay? So it's not like they were neutralists. No, they weren't. I would so like to ask a question, no, if you allow all, me. They, they were all part of the Supreme Council. I would yeah, like I'm to. Not, I would I'm like to, to, to. You will have your time. I just. I, want I would to just like to ask just you. Want to engage. Yeah. Yes, doctor. I, I would just like to ask this question. Yeah? Yes, doc. Yes, sir. Rightly, as said by Mr. Mohamed Lame. Yeah. What would have happened to the state of Sierra Leone if that palace coup did not happen? It's no hidden secret that, we, that, uh, that it's no that's hidden fine. secret. It's no hidden secret that that uh, Captain Valentine Strasser was determined by every indication to transform okay. himself. Okay, okay, Doctor Fofi. Doctor Fofi. Doctor Fofi. Okay, yes. let me let me let me say this quickly and go to Ojuku to let you to get for say. I think uh, I these, these are I these, something. I think I, I think say, let me speak. Let yeah, me okay, let me, let me, let me, let me. I get to apologize to you. Uh, 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 yeah, no, I get to apologize to you, but honestly, I will hold back and let you speak. Go on, please. All right. Yeah. Um. One <laughs> thing I want. To, one thing I want to make clear here is um, locally, internationally, the wife, the government of um, late Amit Jankaba and that of Anis by Kroma failed Strasser. Now, okay, that, that's qualified already, that's qualified. Let me take you like back you. to when Strasser came to UK to study LNB at Warwick University. Sierra Leoneans who were not happy with Strasser or the NPRC overthrowing the APC by then. We are intimidating Strasser, we are mocking Strasser, and they advocated for UN to redraw this, the scholarship given to Strasser. So because of that, Strasser had to go back. Well, I will, let, me add, let me add to that quickly. What you said, part of it, I mean, all of it is true, but also, also, there was another angle to it. There was the immigration angle because during the time Strasser, and this is how cheap some of us can be as a nation, as a people. Because of immigration status, 
people wanted to compromise an entire nation made up of millions to beg for peanuts other than declare that our country is fine and we are operating well, but people wanted visa status. And to get a visa status, it means that you have to declare your country in some state of, some kind of um, um, dilemma, some state of war. And because Strasse refused to do that and made a different declaration, obviously he had a whole sleuth of people. Yeah, doctor, you want to push back yeah, on yeah, that? Yeah, I think I just want to, I just want to shed a little bit uh, of light on, 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 on that very important point. Yeah. I mean, what happened to Strasser when he was studying at Warwick, I would not attribute it entirely to the Sierra Leonean diaspora in the UK. Oh, no, doctor. Okay, I will pause you there again. I, I wasn't attributing the entirety to it. Mr. Lamin said something to that regard. And I was yeah. trying to buttress no. his point from a different point of view. And also, also, before I yield the floor. Yeah. Um, Captain Strasser, it's obvious that he was not in the right state of mind. I have seen reports on why he withdrew, how he withdrew and came to live in the south of London, where I now live, mm -hmm. where he was sectioned, immigration, uh, I think section 10 it is called. He was sectioned. He was picked up from his girlfriend's place because they were monitoring him, okay? And people were giving the information every move that he made. And he was picked up from right here in South London. And this is well documented. So you see, we've got the benefit of hindsight here on what happened to Captain. But let's get back on topic because we're moving away from topic. Yeah, so yeah, so I was saying, yeah, I, I, was, I was on the floor. Yeah, Mr. Prisaz so was saying, um, when Stressa went to Gambia, from Gambia, he went to Sierra Leone. What happened and, to him um, in Gambia? Do you know? Say Do you know what happened? happened? Do you know what happened to him in the Gambia? Well, um, no. from, from my research... Hang on, hang on, Dr. 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 Fofi, you pose the question to the young man. Pose the question to the young man. Let's see whether he knows or not. Uh, uh, and then please, we can offer... Please, please. Mr. Jukutu, I promise you, I'm coming to you. Hold your thoughts right there. You have to rebut Dr. Essie. I haven't forgotten, sir. No, yeah. I'm not, I'm so, not I'm going to be economic with the truth. That's all. <laughs> so, so, okay, so, Lamin, so, Lamin, I, Lamin, Lamin, Lamin. When yeah. Captain Strasser went to the Gambia, which you just mentioned on his way to Sierra Leone, did you know what happened to him in the Gambia? Well, from my research, um, Jame, who was the president of Gambia by then, wanted Strasser to go back to UK, and Strasser was refused entry to the UK. That was what prompted Strasser no, no, to go no. back. It, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't even it doesn't even sound it doesn't even sound that, right. Lamin. That is not and true. As a researcher, as a researcher, as a researcher, Lamin, yeah. word of advice. That is not a young true. man, and as a researcher, yeah. do your due diligence and don't come speculate with research. No. When you yeah. come, you should know the basis on which you're giving this. You got <laughs> Dr. Fofi, your visiting professor, veteran journalist, Mr. Winston Ojukutsi Macaulay. Okay, Dr. Fofi. Uh, what say you to the young researcher, please? But you see, you see, Momel, I mean, uh, this really is to tell Sierra Leoneans that Strasser was internationally damaged. Yeah? Yeah. When he was admitted, when he was admitted to Warwick, the university was under immense pressure of why they would give a man like that admission to study in their university. What, 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 why? By whom? From which quarter? And what, is it I mean, new? Was what, it I, new? Say that again. From whom? From which quarter? Because it could have come from enemy quarters. You know, you're five well, well, brothers. I mean, but these, these things happen. Quarters, you, you are within university circles, doctor. Yeah. These things happen all the time. Sometimes it's purely political. That fringe groups, uh, 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 pressure Good. groups, they do bear pressure on university yeah. faculties as to why certain people whom they're not fond of are yeah. admitted into university. Well, I, I, think, I think the fact of the matter here is, is to qualify that Strasser, after that school, he was finished internationally. No. I tell you, when he was at the university, okay. he, spent, he spent 18 months there. Yeah. And even before the university could take action to withdraw his his candidature from the university, he had left. No, no, no. 
And so, one thing, so, okay, so, 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 quick question, quick question. Yeah. According yeah. to you, you made a sweeping statement that he was damaged internationally. Yeah. 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 Do you yeah. qualify? What do you mean by damage? Yeah. Well, what I mean by that, I mean, yes, sir. We, when Strasser was here, to answer that question, I'll ask a question. Why sure. did he? Yeah. Why did he decide to leave the U.S.? I've got an answer for you. I've got an answer. I've got an answer. I've got the answer okay. for you. Okay. I'll I've tell you, yeah. Doctor Fofi, Doctor Fofi, one minute. Yeah. I've got the answer to your question, but yeah. you have to answer the question. Why did you say that sweeping statement that he was already done internationally? I'll well, answer the, the question. The, the, the British press, for example, which is mm. the British press, which is internationally respected was very antagonistic mm -mm. to Strasser leaving in the UK, mm -mm. living in London. Mm -mm. Okay, he was so, very so, opposed so, to it. So, so by your and, account, and I just by want your to account, say this. Doctor, that's doctor, enough. doctor, yeah. that's so bullshit. by your account, by your account, sir, this is yeah. what made Strasser damage internationally because but one section of the fact. British press, one section of the British press, which yeah. was hostile to Strasser, damaged him they don't like him so he was damaged internationally what about him what about his mental state of mind that could not allow him to sit in a classroom to study to listen to be steady well, i think this, this was all one led to the state of mind exactly exactly sorry exactly. sorry sorry again this sorry Lamin, sorry the state of mind exactly and they, and they, well, they well, sorry let me let me let me let me i'm going to just i'm going to let's not speak over each other i mean what did you just say sir Lamin, Mr. Lamin. Yeah, I said these are things that led for the state of mind of Strasser, the press, you see, the people. You see, you, see the, you see the problem, you see the problem that I noticed here is we are making judgment in the after, in the post, not, not the before. Why don't we just accept that what befell the young man, and I think some of us do agree that, according to Dr. Fofi and Lamin, that there are records of him being a substance abuser which could have affected him long before he even got... And no, no, I'm not agreeing. Winston, it's not that I'm agreeing. I am just stating theoretically what they've said. We look into it that he was already damaged by substance abuse, which could have potentially affected when he eventually entered the University of London in Warwick. I mean, Warwick University, okay? So he was damaged. Not as a consequence of later what was happening, because they were harassing him and the press was writing. So suddenly that affected his mindset. No, he was a damaged product by virtue of what happened to him and whether he was abusing substance. But let's go to Jukutu. I mean, fair time. We, we, see, we don't wrong you. Please take the see, floor. You see, <laughs> you see, I am not here. Very to, interesting conversation. I, I'm loving I'm this. Not, <laughs> I'm not here to praise Caesar, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Basically, uh, I would say I would I don't want to use bury him, but I'm not here to praise Caesar, because it seems as if uh, the conversation was like um, a trump card to praise uh, President Madabio. Uh, 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 yes, you have been doing that with the greatest respect, Doctor Fofana. Uh, 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 Mister Atoyibi say his father, his father, quote unquote, father of democracy. Uh, you see, like I usually tell people. Some of us have been privileged and had the opportunity to be involved in contemporary politics of Sierra Leone since 1979. It's a very long time. Indeed. And, um, <laughs> and, and another thing, some of us have also been privileged and had the opportunity to be brutalized by both the APC and the SLPP, locked up by both the APC and the SLPP. But I am APC. Good. And and I don't I don't color. That is why even within the APC, people are scared of me. You see, uh, President Bio is no father of democracy. Uh, thanks to Dr. James Jonah, I did not bring James Jonah, who told him I'd been to money. Exactly. That, uh, that uh, I was there, Dr. Fofana. President Bio, President Bio wanted. He wasn't going. Pressure was brought President, to pre in. President Bio wasn't going to accept elections. Come on. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and uh, and the election was won by Dr. Karifa Smart. Uh, it wasn't SLPP that won that election. But, but President Bio has acknowledged. He has acknowledged that. That's for that's that. That is for another discussion. 
Yeah. Uh, and, 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 to, <laughs> and, and to rub Anes Kouma into this whole issue about whether Anes Kouma and, and Banabido, the, the two are not even comparable. It's water and oil. But let's not get into that. That's for another issue, discussion. <laughs> so uh, I, I, with regards to Strasser, Strasser, it wasn't the British press. I am part and parcel of the British press. I can show you my credentials. Yeah, but Ojuku, if you're talking about um, Strasser here, I think um, than late Kaba and, and is, is far better because both of them failed stressor. Exactly. Not, exactly. Not, 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 no, 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 gentlemen. Yeah, but, but, that, but that's not the argument, guys, that's because that's we've, all the accepted, we've all accepted. We've all accepted. Failed stressor. Failed stressor. In fact, not the please, argument, Dandy. Please, please, please. I was the first to say today here that Sierra Leone, we all failed. Oju, 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 you yes. are on the record now yes. on this program yes. as we speak. You were yeah, the first to say it. I can acknowledge yeah, that. Yeah, so we're and there is a Slater. consensus yeah. among so this let's, panel let's not that, get into yes, that. all of them fail. Why are we going no, back let's there? Not, let's not get into that. Yeah, exactly. The Move forward, of, please. With time, the, time. The fact of the matter is that, <laughs> apart from the coup, you have to also remember, including President Bill, we are all given scholarships. They all went out, yes, Yes, don't swarm your face. They all were given scholarships. <laughs> don't make it personal now. Yes, no, no, yeah. they all, they, they all, no, they all went, they all went to, they all, they were all given scholarships. They all went to various countries, right? None of them, none of them were asked by Sierra Leoneans, with the exception of Strasser. That's one. Number two, the press did not just got up one day, the daily military to be specific. Did not got up one day and started writing about Strasser. It was because of certain elements in here, Sierra Leoneans, yeah. that picked on Strasser. And that I'm a journalist. That is how the press function. I can tell you briefly that there was an incident involving President Koma's wife and a sister in this country, just after President Koma became president. I still have the document. I was offered 70,000 pounds. At the Salute High Commission, 